Electric cars are all the rage, but what about electric school food carts? <laughs> They're getting used in New Mexico as a way to try and get food to easier to kids at lunchtime. First I heard of them, but Scarlett Liz Jack shows us where these carts are rolling now and exactly how they're helping our hungry kids. 1,600 students is a lot of mouths to feed. With the increased enrollment, our, our lunch lines were getting a little bit longer, and we needed a, just another option for students to come and get various uh, snacks and things. The solution they came up with is this, a mobile food cart. The first few days, it was curiosity more than anything. What is it? Can we drive it? that kind of thing, but um, they've embraced it. It's part of the school now. Today it was stocked with burritos, chips, and one student's favorite drink. Talk to me. Tropicana, it's the best juice man in the world. Some students prefer having that vitamin C while getting some vitamin D. You have students who really enjoy being outdoors and don't want to take the time to go in and go through the, the service area, so my thought was have another point of service outside convenient for them. It's very convenient because I like to get outside mostly, get out here, so it's just right there to get food so I don't have to walk back and forth in and out. Not only does it beat the lunchtime crowds, but it also doesn't need one of these. Right here, regular charge receptacle. Um, don't need any special wiring or anything. It works great. Of course, better for our environment and cheaper to operate. Um, not having to have fuel made it a lot more um, conducive for a, a high school campus. A green food cart delivering more than just excitement from students. Scarlett Lisjack, KOB4.